Hello, Dr. Peter Martoni here, and we are going to be talking about what you put into your body at night and how that affect, affects your sleep patterns. Because it's not just about going to sleep and waking up, right? So a lot of times people will fall asleep and they'll wake up and they won't feel rested. Well, why is that? It's because your body needs to go into the shallow sleep, come up, I'm sorry, shallow sleep, drop down into a deep sleep, come up out of a shallow sleep, and you need to go up and down through those cycles, eight sleep cycles a night. So some uh, of the medications that we take, if we take melatonin, or if we uh, take a sleeping pill, or if you have alcohol, um, or THC, what ends up happening is it'll put you into a deep sleep and you'll stay down there all night long and then you'll end up getting eight hours of sleep. You wake up stiff because your body doesn't toss and turn as enough, enough and you wake up fatigued. You're not, you don't feel rested. So what you put into your body before you go, go to, before you go to bed plays a big role on how well you're going to sleep. Rule of thumb is don't have any big meals within four hours of when you go to bed. Yeah, that's right four hours. So let's say you have dinner and you shouldn't be eating a lot late at night anyways. So if you're having dinner, a nice small dinner would be good right around six, six o'clock. And then right before you go to bed, you can have a snack. You can make that a high fat snack where you can do something like almonds or, or, or some sort of nut, walnuts. Um, you can also, before you go to bed, have a scoop of sunflower butter. Having a little bit of fat at night is really, really, really good for your sleep patterns because your body, body's blood sugar level doesn't drop too low. And if your blood sugar level drops too low, what will end up happening is you'll, you won't go through those natural sleep cycles. And another thing, if you have too much food before you go to bed, what happens is your body will digest that. It creates a lot of heat and you'll sweat all night long. You'll have nightmares and you won't sleep good because your body doesn't go through those natural sleep cycles. So what you put into your body plays a huge role as to how well you're going to sleep. So you wanna have a little bit of food in your system, but you don't wanna have a big meal and you should never eat a lot late at night. So these are some tips. Um, below these tips, I'll just put together um, some other, you'll see some other videos. These videos will talk about um, what you should, it's just, what's more important than what you're putting into your body is your sleep times, going to bed and waking up at the same time. Your body likes consistency. So with that consistency of going to bed and going to sleep, having similar foods and having the similar amount of food so your body gets used to that in the digestive tract, actually gets used to digesting, the, 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 the more consistent you can be with your food patterns, um, the better off you are. You wanna stay away from alcohol before you go to sleep. So the, the idea is, well, the, the rule of thumb again here is that it takes a, an hour for you to metabolize an ounce of alcohol. So if you have, let's say, a glass of wine, which has, I think, about an ounce and a half of alcohol, you shouldn't have a glass of wine within, the, within an hour of when you go to bed because you wanna have that alcohol metabolized because again, it drops you into a deep sleep and it keeps you there and you don't naturally go through those patterns. So it's great to have dinner. It's great to have a small snack. Make sure you don't have too much food. But again, don't go to sleep with an empty stomach. I hope this video helps you. And I hope these, this video series helps get you connected in understanding that getting a great night's sleep really takes a little bit of work. So if you like these videos, kind of keep staying plugged in. And uh, thank, you for, uh, thank you for getting engaged. And share these out too to your friends and family. We're really trying to create a a community of like-minded sleeping individuals because ultimately one of the best lifestyle choices you can you can do or health choices you can do to improve your quality of life is getting a great night's sleep thank you